So this is demonstration for those who can install Stellarium desktop version. So this is what I get when I search for Stellarium in Google Play Store. Uh, I don't recommend that you get Stellarium mobile, you know, don't pay for any of this. The free app that I do recommend is a Sky Safari and uh, it's a free app. It is a big download, about 250 megabytes or so when I downloaded it. So make sure you are in a place with a reasonable internet. And once you download it and install it and open it, this is what you should see. I recommend that you go to settings and set your location. When you start the app, it should have asked for the location permission, but in case your phone doesn't, you can set it manually here. First, choose the country, and Alameda isn't in the list, so I chose Oakland. So with the location set, you can see the view of the sky as uh, you would see it. Um, let me set the time to now. Uh, the sun is setting. One downside from Stellarium is it doesn't give you the realistic view of the sky. It just shows you the objects in the sky. But it's uh, good enough to show you the moon phases. So it's for good enough for that virtual uh, view. Let's see. The moon should be up now in the western sky. And when I turn west, there it is, uh, between southwest and west. And that's uh, kind of a diagram of what moon phase would look like in the sky. Um, go through the orientation that I <laughs> gave you the description of, figure out which side is east, which side is west. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, Saturday. So this is a few days earlier. Um, if you were observing the moon on Saturday at night, this is what you would have seen, Gibbous moon rising in the east. And uh, when you orient yourself, you can figure out that it's the eastern side that's lit here. So that's the demonstration. Once again, this is the virtual observation that I would recommend over just looking at astronomical data. Uh, good portion of this uh, observation project is looking at the night sky and or <laughs> looking at the actual sky and uh, kind of making sense of that.